Today we're going to be talking about Black Jews. The international Jewish community is as diverse as it is vast and this video is a brief snapshot into a few of the many Afro-Jewish communities worldwide. If you're interested in finding out more, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Beta Israel community in my Afro-Israel video coming very soon, so be sure to check it out. Did you know there are several Afro-Jewish communities across Africa? There is a black Jewish presence in many African countries, including Ethiopia, Uganda, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Ghana, Madagascar, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Kenya and Zambia. Let's take a closer look at a few. Perhaps the most prominent is the Beta Israel community that originated in Ethiopia. The population currently stands at approximately 150,000, of which 130,000 currently live in Israel following a mass expatriation at the end of the 20th century. Several thousand remain in Ethiopia and mainly reside in the regions of Amhara and Tigray. The Jewish community in Ethiopia is ancient, dating back as far as the 4th century. That's over 1,600 years. Find out more in my Afro-Israel video coming soon. Another well-established black African Jewish community is the Abba Yudaya of Uganda, who in 2019 celebrated their 100th anniversary. They were founded in 1917 by Seme Kakungulu, a Ugandan military leader who later converted to Judaism with the help of a European Jew named Yosef. Together they established a devout Jewish community in eastern Uganda, which continues to this day. Judaism was outlawed under the rule of totalitarian dictator Idi Amin, but many members of the Jewish community continued to practice in secret, and the community flourished from the 1980s onwards. Today, the Abba Yudaya population stands up to 3,000 people, and they mainly reside in a number of towns and villages in eastern Uganda. Across the community, there are five synagogues, as well as several Jewish schools. The country's chief rabbi is Rabbi Gershom Suzomu, who was the first native-born black rabbi in sub-Saharan Africa. In 2016, he made history when he became a member of the Ugandan parliament. Other important communities to mention include the Igbo Jews of Nigeria, who number up to 5,000 people and worship in 26 synagogues across the country. The Jewish community in Ghana is known as the House of Israel and is located in Sefwi Weoso in southwestern Ghana. It's a small community of around 200 people led by David Ahenkura. The Lemba people of Zimbabwe in South Africa are reportedly descended from the Jews of Sena who fled the Holy Land and settled in Africa. Although they are not all practicing Jews, they have long considered themselves to be culturally Jewish. Many of their religious, cultural and social practices are Semitic in origin. Many of the smaller communities mentioned in this video lack the funding to invest in their synagogues and Jewish schools and rely on donations to further their community work. So if you feel inclined to donate, then click on the link in the description below. Let's take a look now at the black Jewish community in the United States. There are thousands of African-American Jews from various denominations, including Orthodox, Conservative and Reform, as well as smaller denominations such as Reconstructionist and Humanistic. The Alliance of Black Jews was founded in the United States in 1995 by Robin Washington, Michelle Stein Evers and Rabbi Kappas C. Funye Jr. At the time, the organization estimated the presence of a quarter of a million black Jews in America. African American Jews often find themselves caught between discriminatory attitudes both inside and outside of the Jewish community in America. On the one hand, they're regularly confronted by the erroneous stereotype in wider society that all Jewish people are white and that being black and being Jewish are mutually exclusive. On top of that, some African-American Jews have reported experiencing racism, discrimination and ostracism within the Jewish community itself. These themes are explored in the 2018 book entitled The Soul of Judaism, written by Bruce D. Hines. His book is the first in-depth cultural profile of Jews of African descent in America. We love to shout out women of colour here at Freedom Is Mine, so on that note I'd like to highlight three African-American Jewish women who've done groundbreaking things through their work with the community. Yuvila McCoy is the founder of Ayesha, a non-profit organisation that provides educational resources for Jewish diversity and advocacy for Jews of colour in the United States. 
Alyssa Stanton is the first African-American female rabbi ordained in 2009. In her own words, she focuses not on being the first, but on being the best. Sandra Lawson is currently the Associate Chaplain for Jewish Life at Elon University and in 2018 became the first openly gay female black rabbi in the world. And finally, we all love a familiar face, so here are some Afro-descendant celebrities you may not have known were Jewish. Tiffany Haddish was born to an Eritrean Jewish father and celebrated her bar mitzvah in 2019 on her 40th birthday. Rolling Stone magazine once referred to Drake as the biggest Jewish rapper since the Beastie Boys. His mother is an Ashkenazi Jewish Canadian and growing up Drake attended a Jewish day school before undertaking his bar mitzvah. Most people know Sammy Davis Jr. as being one of the most successful singers of his generation, but not everyone knows that he converted to Judaism in 1961. Other mixed-race celebrities with a Jewish parent include Lenny Kravitz, Lisa Bonet, Doja Cat and Rashida Jones. And there we have it! If you wish to donate to any of the Jewish communities in Africa I mentioned earlier, don't forget to click on the link below. That's it from me and I'll see you in the next video. Freedom.